is going in, peeps? What is going in? It's Valerie's Natural Oracles. Grand Rising. Good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. And today we got a doozy. <laughs> if only you knew what was coming because there was somebody who, whoever it is you are thinking about that did you wrong, that did a dirty on you, they made choices. But look what it says here. Pause before you choose. Did they do that? Hell to the no, they didn't pause before they choose. In fact, they were very tunnel visioned about it. They thought, I've got choices. And I'm going to make the choice that I'm going to put you on the shelf. And I'm going to go for what I want. Because after all, you're always going to be there, aren't you? (laughs) But you wasn't. (laughs) So while this person made the choice to forge ahead, you see what it says there? Focus on what's in front. This person just focused. Like I said, tunnel vision. They just focused on what was in front of them guess what that caused though people it caused the separation separation is not the end though for some of you but some of you and this climate of dating and everything else and being together a lot of you said now nah, hell to the no i am doing my own thing i'm independent woman independent man i'm not taking the nonsense because i'm telling you of their stupid choices now here comes this person thinking now may even be years down the line but they've realized i made mistakes <laughs> they say to themselves we all make mistakes but can i go back to fixing that mistake though or can i go back to the it's like going back to the future isn't it <laughs> they want to go back and start again like nothing happened like they don't want to take any accountability like they want to be up in your face up in your grill like you know it's your fault the height of manipulation i left you because it's your fault while i left and meanwhile they were really out there doing something else but all together now we all make mistakes this person has come to the realization that <laughs> We all we need is understanding. In order for this situation to come together, it needs it needs understanding. But unfortunately, dun, 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 it's separation, and this could have been going on for years. People, you separated from this person for years and years and years, even. But uh, either you or them, or even both of you, are still thinking about each other every single bloody morning. We get and why? Because it's a soul tie. Some kind of twin flame soulmate situation. Sometimes it's just here to teach you lessons. Sometimes you really are meant to be with this person. And they just made mistakes. So what did you do? You started again. You're looking forward to a new beginning. You may you may have been sad and down, downtrodden at one point. But you were sincere about what you wanted to do. You took your sincerity and your truth and maybe even met somebody else someone close to you is sincere and you took that and you ran with it and you went after your wishes and your dreams now it could have been somebody else actually somebody and so in the meantime (laughs) somebody is not agreed with that situation they're not happy (laughs) <laughs> Big up yourself. You can agree to disagree all you want, but you've got to do something about it. Now, here's the situation, people. Here's the situation. You started your new beginning. This person wants to come back in because they know they made a mistake. <laughs> but what's happened? What's happened? <laughs> You're disagreeing with them. You can bugger off back to where you came from. Is <laughs> how you get them. Is how you lose them. <laughs> big up yourself, collective. Big up yourself. You're just in a state of gratitude. You said, thank goodness I walked away from that situation. Thank goodness we separated because I wouldn't be where I am today. <laughs> <laughs> said Reginald Perry. If you're old enough to understand what Reginald Perry is, go and look it up. <laughs> But anyway, you gave gratitude, you said. I thank you. A thank you goes a long way. You thank the lucky stars. You know what? That person made you turn your pain into power. And now you're thanking them for the situation, for their mistakes, for their choices. You're thanking them every day. You're saying to yourself, if it wasn't for you. (laughs) 
And big up yourself, collective, big up yourself. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be in the position that you are. They raised your vibration. Spirit tapped you on the shoulder and said, yeah, that's enough of that one now. Here's what you do. You find the love of yourself. You go within and fight and love yourself unconditionally. And yes, you may still have the few triggers, but you give gratitude every single day when you wake up because that person turned your pain into power for you. And you've, and you know, you know, I, I'm saying all this, people, but you could have probably forgiv- forgiven that person because you have to forgive them for yourself. Because if you can't forgive yourself, how are you going to forgive them? Anyway, let's go to the bottom of the deck because I'm the bottom of the deck queen, and that's where the future energies lie. We're currently in a state of gratitude, in a gr- in a state of thankfulness. So let's see what else. Yes, we healed the situation. Did you? heal your situation revitalized your heart this is like the star card in tarot i'm telling you and you may have even found your soul tribe friendships it says successful sexful do you know you could even find your new love because it does say successful couples are good friends and that's how it should be you should be a friend that person should add to your peace you should feel secure you know if you're feminine you'll be in your feminine energy if you're masculine you feel you'll be in your masculine energy but always you feel still safe love and secured and if you're not feeling any of those things then this is not a friendship do you know i've seen a lot going around about these men (laughs) who want maids and not wives (laughs) and they'd rather spend time with men than they would with, with with their own wife and vice versa because they were not friends to begin with and that person wasn't adding to the peace to begin with so what is the solution to this it says here it literally says solutions strive for harmonious situations why would you shack up with somebody who's not a friend anyway that doesn't make sense is it somebody you know why would you shack up with somebody you can't talk to why would you shack up with somebody is it for the prestige is it because of loneliness if you can't enjoy your own company there's something wrong there people let me tell you something because this you know divine timing stepped in people it says allow events to unfold at the correct time maybe you are meant to be with that person but it's just wrong timing they made choices that was just the wrong timing they made mistakes and i'm not to say that you didn't make mistakes but let me tell you something for this for you to be in separation somebody did something and it's about the choices that was made big up yourself collective big up yourself somebody's now afraid about what's going to happen though it says that it's time to let go of insecurity somebody's afraid is it you that's afraid of the future or is it them i believe it's them because you are currently in separation you're in currently in separation with this person and maybe it's not the end but this person has realized that you bossed up <laughs> You bossed up and said, Nata, bongo, wongo, bilango, no, with that nonsense there. If this person can't ship, shape up, then ship out. Shape up or ship out. Big. <laughs> and now this person's afraid because they can't come with the same tactics. They can't come with the same nonsense. You know, these people that like to love bomb and then they give you, give you piecemeal. These people that like to be one sided, who likes to breadcrumb you and just give you just enough to hang on. But yeah, spirit tap you on the shoulder. You're intuition kicked in your gut feeling your eyes were opened and you said i know what this person's doing and they can bugger off and now it's them that's in fear what is going to happen in this situation you decide (laughs) don't forget to like comment share show your appreciation get down with the get down at least follow and i'll see you on one of my lives